um yeah uh yeah so um are we starting yeah yeah go ahead uh all right sure so uh so hi christy uh hi everyone i'll introduce myself um i'm amrit i am a software engineer one at amazon hyderabad and i work for a team called alexa data services uh so i've been into amazon for a year and uh, i've been taking interviews in amazon and then sd skills as well uh so this is my second time i'm, I'm going to interview someone in these skills and looking forward to this one uh yes uh, that's it about myself christine can you introduce yourself christine i think you're muted Am I audible actually? Yeah, yeah, I can hear. Let me maybe pause the recording for a second. Um, yeah, can can you hear me? Yep, yeah, you're audible. Okay, yeah. So uh, again, mostly I was doing uh, UI uh, UX, so um, a bit rusty with uh, coding. So I'm trying to get back to it. um yeah okay so where do you work right now or are you a student uh i worked for about uh 3 4 years um okay. uh, but i'm unemployed right now okay sure mm -hmm. all right mm, yes so uh like on, on a scale of 1 to 10 how do you rate yourself with your interview preparation or your problem <laughs> problem so i would say a 4 okay all right that's that's fine let's let's improve okay uh okay so we'll we'll start with the first question all right sure. and i'm i'm assuming your preferred language is javascript yes all right so uh the first question is this one uh so basically i'll give you some you know unique file unique file paths so okay. Uh, so basically, there will be folders and there will be slashes that separate some folders. So I'll give you a list of folders actually. Okay. Okay. Now the expectation is that you should give me all the parent folders in that list. All the parent folders. So to say an example, let's say there is a folder, uh, basically SD slash skills, mm -hmm. and there is a folder SD slash mock. You should give me both. Now there is a folder S D E, like slash S D E. There is uh, another folder slash. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, can you do you mind typing those examples out in the um, console or in that? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So basically, okay. now let's say I give you a list. Mm, so let's say I give you slash S D E. This is one folder. Now I'll give you slash S D E slash skills. Okay. So I'll give you slash sd slash mock. Okay. You should give me slash sd. Okay. Um. So the the naming the folder structure when you give me the um. So for example, you give me sde slash skills. Um, do I only know the? Are, are those given as strings or? Um, I guess. Mm, yep, yep, yep. You'll be given the folder names as a list of strings, right? As a list of strings. Okay. Um. So. Do you understand the question? uh not fully so let me let me ask more clarifying questions um sure so you're you're only interested in the um common parent folder is that correct or just any parent folder i'm just interested in the common parent folder so uh what do you mean by the other one uh I, no i think that that clarifies it so uh given Okay, I'm sorry. One second. Okay. 
did you have any more questions or are you good uh i think i'm good uh okay. let me let me think for a second sure so um So let me just write another example, just so that I'm clear. So it could be folder um, home or something like that. And then I have my file one and home file, um, maybe another uh, folder, for example, um, homework and then file one here and then Another one, which is sorry, home. So this one will return uh, home as the result. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, sure. I guess I would, um, and this is always given in an array. Um, do you know, do I know the length or does it matter? Uh, it doesn't matter, right? I mean, like, it'll be of arbitrary length. I can't give you the length beforehand. Okay. Um, so basically I will just iterate through the array and, um, I'll need to do some sort of a regex comparison to find out um, a string that has that is contained by the backslashes. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not very good with regex, so I need to look up that part. Is that okay? Mm, yeah, sure. You can you can maybe look at the documentation and then see how to split that. Okay. So um, so my my approach will be yeah iterate through the array and um, parse through uh, to find out the first part um, mm -hmm. of the, um, the string. And that mm -hmm. would be the, um, I guess, the home or the parent uh, folder. Mm -hmm. And then set, save that into um, a set. Okay. And then uh, as I iterate through, um, I'll do the same operation. So maybe I'll have a helper function that finds, like a helper that find um, parent folder function of some sort. And I'll do that operation for each of the um, items in the array. And then I'll compare that to the set. If the set has that same folder, then I can, uh, maybe have a temporary, um, uh, like, like a temp variable that holds that as the uh, folder, but for something that if, if it doesn't uh, match, then I'll return as not found. So for example, if this is, um, like something like that, what would I be returning? Mm, good question. So I want you to give me, you know, all the common parents. So in this case, you would have to return slash home, comma slash work. Slash. Basically, um, as a list, as a list, you should give me the common parents. How would this be? Uh... Because this one doesn't have a parent of home, right? Mm, but that's okay. That itself is a parent, right? That itself looks like a parent. Oh, so any parent. So oh, this will return home and work as right. such. Right. Okay. So the set will still work here. Um, basically, yeah, I'll iterate through and if this exists and exists in the set, I'll just uh, move on. If not, I'll add it to the set. So right. yeah. Um, do you have a question, any question for that approach? Mm, a question for which approach? Uh, for the solution that I just walked through. 
I, I didn't fully get it. It would be nice if you could just, uh, you know, iterate with this third example that we have. Uh, it might be easier if I uh, start coding a little bit and maybe pseudo code a little bit. Uh, will that be okay? Um, uh, I, I would recommend you can think about it. Maybe you okay. can write it. You can write it on your own in in a paper or something. Or maybe uh, you can you can put it in the comments as well. That's fine. You can try uh, writing pseudocode in the comments and find it. Sure. Let's try this. So iterate through given array. That's the first step, and then um, I'll create a, a set. So, um, if the, I guess the array of i, that's the current we're at, um, we'll iterate through the given array and we'll perform the find parent folder operation on each of the, um, each of the items in the array. And if set dot has this guy, then uh, we continue. Otherwise, we do set dot um, add, whatever this is. And so this is else. And then in the end, we return um, the set. Mm, I did through the given array. Uh, the set has, so what? what is uh, the content of your set? Is it the parent that you're saying? I'm sorry, what? So, uh, I mean, what is, what exactly is your set supposed to store? Uh, it's supposed to store the string of um, this guy. So this so, is where the helper function will um, do. Okay. Uh, so what, what I'm thinking is basically, uh, so I, I think that needs some more clarity. So let me actually give you another example. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So now let's say you have something like, um, you know, slash SD slash skills. Yeah. Slash SD slash mock. What do you think should your output would be? It would be uh, slash SDE. Uh, no, that's not what I'm expecting from you. You can return me both. Okay. So the reason being the common parent is not present in the list. Um, I don't think I understand. Um, why would that not be a common parent of SDE? Uh, uh like I agree that's a common for parent and all. It's, it's totally fine. But this is not a part of your list. I mean, the parent, right? The parent that you're seeing is not in the list. So uh, to, to rephrase the question, it would look something like given a folder, uh -huh. you can remove all the children of that folder. You can, you can take it that way also. Oh, okay. Got it. So because the parent folder itself isn't presented in the given, I, can, I cannot remove them. Yes. Okay, that's a lot clearer. Um, and the next thing is basically these things could, could have a common parent. So like slash SD is common here, but I don't want you to give any arbitrary uh, parent, which is not in the list. I only want you what is, uh, you know, actually in the list. So in the, in the above example that we have, the answer should be home only if slash home is present. Otherwise you can return, uh, you know, whatever is in that. Does the order matter? Cause um, I have home back here as well. Okay. Okay. Then that's fine. I didn't, I, I actually missed oh, okay. it. Okay. Yeah. The order is not important. So that is a question. Um, let's, let's maybe rephrase it once again. So I'll be giving you a set of folders. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Now you should remove all the subfolders of a folder. Remove all subfolders of a folder. 
Right. So now that I gave you SDE yeah. in the first okay. example, mm -hmm. SDE slash skills and SDE slash more courage children. So you should remove them. Got it. Yep. So here, if I give you SD slash skills and SD slash mock, there is no common parent as such that I've given you, right? SD slash skills does not have a child. SD slash mock does not have a child. So they themselves are parents. Okay. Got it. Um, so. will return empty um, mm, that that wouldn't return empty that would return both all right so So there will be a um, some sort of a helper that determines. So so there will be a helper that help you find the parent folder, and um, I think within here I can also so find the parent folder, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and if no parent, then I can determine whether this itself is a parent. Mm -hmm, okay. So with this, um, uh, this will return um, the parent folder if it exists and otherwise it will return itself. So I need another check to see. Oh, shoot. Um, let me just run an example through it uh, and see if it matters. So if I have SDE slash SDE, right, and somehow the regex um, helper returns itself mm -hmm. as this will return slash SDE. Mm, yeah, um, so uh, assume that your function will return a list with, uh, you know, SDE the second one will be SD comma like space skill something like that. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what your regex helper would be doing. Mm -hmm. like, I'm just saying slash is not very relevant. Uh, so, right. So there's another way that I can do this. Um, basically, um, I can split a string in JavaScript um, based on the slash. Exactly. And, and if I, um, if the length is greater than a certain, I think one, then I know there's more than uh, one uh, folders. Mm -hmm. And then I can uh, look at the first, uh, the first item on the, in, in the uh, array and see what that um, home fold, uh, the parent folder is and then uh, do the comparison that way. Mm -hmm. I, th does that does that sound about, mm -hmm. about right? So, yeah, so my question is, does that take care of parents that actually have two levels of nesting? Uh, so uh, in the second example, I can give you something like slash, like in the fourth example, I can give you something like slash SD slash skills slash A slash SD slash skills slash B. 
and the parent will be slash sd slash skills. It all uh, it all comes down to how many of the previous ones are exactly the same, right? Right, exactly. And that's kind of what we're keeping track of with a set. So does that, does, that kind of sounds like we need another set to keep track of that within the helper. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's do one thing, right? Can you mm -hmm. think of a brute force? Okay, how would you do it naively if time was not a concern? Mm. I would uh, loop through the array. So mm -hmm. first iterate through. And mm -hmm. so uh, when I'm in here, mm -hmm. um, I will hold this and then iterate through the rest of them and compare it um, one to one mm -hmm. and, and see if um, any of the s parent uh, matches. Mm -hmm. um, that would be like a like an O of N square operation. Mm, yeah, that's fine. But uh, even with that, right now, let's say you're you're visiting a child first and then a parent later. Um, how would that be? What you mean is that say I'm at SDE skills, and I already mm -hmm. determined that. For this case, uh, slash SDE is my parent. Only if slash SDE is in the list, right? So, yes, if set includes SDE, then SDE is parent. And uh, your your question regards to when we come to SDE slash SDE mock. Mm -hmm. um, how, and can you repeat your question again? Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, so basically, yeah, now the next one in the list is, let's say, slash SDE. As such. Okay. No, no. Yeah, let's uh, slash oh, SD slash more. Like this. No. Do, uh, do you want to type? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll type it. <laughs> so the list looks something like this, right? Okay, so let's take this one. Yeah. And the list looks something like this. Now, in this case, you will only return me slash SD, right? So now, if this is the order, you're iterating in this particular order. Mm -hmm. How would you find the parent and how would you group these three together? Just give me that idea, right? How would I find the parent? So, if I do something like this as a string split based on that mm -hmm. and this will give me an array of uh, I think SDE and skills. And And I would check to see if, um, so I will have a set and I'll check to see if the set includes any of these guys. If not, I would push um, this into the set. And same thing, so the first step is I'll push SDE into the set 
and then SDE skills as the second. So the set will now have set dot um, add um, SDE and then the second set dot add also SDE slash skills because we don't know if there'll be a um, nested folder at this point yet. Mm -hmm. So we need okay. to include both of them. Mm -hmm. So when we're at SDE, oh, sorry, the second one, SDE mock, right? We do the mm -hmm. same operation. Dot split, we'll have SDE and mock. Mm -hmm. And at this point, we'll check set dot has SDE and this will return true. So we know uh, this could be one of the um, parent folders, but we still need to check the th until the whole uh, list is exhausted. Mm -hmm. So we, the set will have um, true, so we don't add it again, but we need to add set.add sde slash mock. Okay. Okay, so you set has both of these right now, and now you're going to meet the third guy, right? Yes. Okay. So the third one is just uh, SDE. Mm -hmm. And um, set dot has. I think I know where your hesitation is um, because here ideally you want to say that if the set that um, already returns that then right. we'll want we we'll want to uh, remove them right right so I ideally your brute force would work if you had seen the parent before the child right Mm. Because if it's that case, then yeah. once you reach an element, then you only need to see if he has some children or not, correct? Correct. And that I think is fairly easy to check. Um. So let me, let me give you a hint. Can you <laughs> see something about, you know, the length of the folders and subfolders. Right. So the length of uh, folder, the parent folder slash SDE is four, whereas mm -hmm. the length of this subfolder is four plus the length of skills. Right. Uh, okay, so uh, we can check if um, basically folder dot length. Or can we look at the case of this one? As, as, can I assume that um, this will always show up before the rest of them? Or the order won't matter, right? The order is basically irrelevant. I mean, uh, you know, the, the given folders will not have an order. But you can choose to make an order, right? Right. So I could potentially sort my input based on their length. And right. um, and as I go through, then I'll be able to tell um, if the set already includes um, something that I visited, then I can remove 
uh, the subfolder. Right, that works. So that would that would actually give you a brute force one, right? Right. Mm, all right. Uh, I'm fine. I understand that approach. But is there something that we can do better? <laughs> yes. Um. So the brute force way earlier was to iterate and then compare them um, Mm -hmm. as right. we're as we're going through mm -hmm. um one of the optimization uh, optimization i was looking at uh was sorting by length first um mm, that, that we already did right right process. yeah um and using a set i don't need to iterate it twice i just go through the um array once so um, I'm not entirely sure what other optimization um, okay just think about it think about what you can achieve in single traversing now that you're sorting it what what guarantee do you have when you reach an element j which is you know greater than your previous element i i know the length is always greater and um i can and you also know the parent is always already seen right right mm -hmm. just think along that lines already seen and my goal is to remove all the sub so right. um, so instead of instead of creating another set I can just compare it to um, the previous index is that what you're looking at so, so maybe like a two pointer type of system um, uh, I think two pointer could work but um, yeah I had like I had something similar in mind yeah. All right. so my pointer will start from here at zero um, assuming this is sorted. Like I, I, I didn't say I had two pointer in mind, but uh, the one oh. where you said you compare with the previous one, right? Something sort of, not exactly, but what, like, uh, again, uh, so if you see you sorted it now, and now you have a brute force where, where you can go to the right of each folder and then get all the folders which are subfolders, correct? Yes. And you had some set as well. I have some setters, you said? Like, I mean, you had a set, right? Where you were keeping parents. Yes. So now, uh, again, using that set, what can you do if you do a single traversal? That's what I'm asking. So now let's say I actually got into a child and the parent is already in the set. What I, would you do? I would just remove the child. Exactly. So that is the idea. I mean, just see if you can, you know, get that straight for a single traversal way, right? Right. Okay. 
I, I think I think I would just I, I think I was uh, going with that approach with single traversal, but I just wasn't articulating it correctly. Um, can can I try putting that to code? Uh, yes, but um, did you clarify something or I, I missed something? Uh, no, uh, I, I was confirming uh, that was the approach I had in mind. Uh, so can you say that approach again? Yes, so it's a single traversal and mm -hmm. as I'm tra traversing, so this will be a pre-sorted based on length. Okay. And then I'll traverse through the array. Mm -hmm. And as I'm traversing, if this guy does not uh, belong in this set, Mm -hmm. I would add it to the set. Mm -hmm. And as I go through the next one, I know mm -hmm. the length will be greater than the previous. Mm -hmm. So I'll just see if um, this part uh, exists in the um, set already. If it does, I'll just remove it. Mm -hmm. If not, I'll continue to add this to the set. Mm -hmm. okay. And I'll do that uh, until I reach the end and uh, return uh, the modified array, because as I'm going through, if something already is uh, shown up in the set, I will be removing them. Mm, yep, all right. Yeah, that, that works. Yeah. Okay. That is a uh, no subfolder. Um, a folder. So, um, parent folder equals to the set. So, um, So iterating through the array. Oh, and I need to sort the array folders first. And I'll need to double check that this actually sorts it by length. So I'll do, I'll come back to it. So it's a string, right? You mean, and, and the expectation was you start with length, right? Yes. Um, so is that sorted on alphabetical order or is that sorted on length? Uh, this will be. Uh, hold on, hold on, give me a sec. Um, can, can I come back to this? Uh, let me finish my thought here and then I'll come back sure. to you this sort. Yeah, sure. We'll go. Yeah. Um, so assume it's already sorted. Um, if so first I need to split the Ring based on that guy. And compare to set. So array folder of i dot what based on. Mm -hmm. 
yourself off. So this actually won't work. Um, I need to figure out what that um, proper way of removing the uh, item is. Um, mm -hmm. We need to sort it uh, first by length. So I think. Feeling folder that has subfolders of zero. Mm, okay, so uh, are you done or? No, uh, I, I still need to uh, sort by length, right? That's okay. Uh, other than that, are you done? Uh, yes. Mm, can you draw a dry run in that case with that example? It's okay. Uh, I understand that by sort you mean sort by length. That's okay. Okay. So you want me to run through this one, right? Mm, yep. Okay. So here, the first one I'm going through is, so I guess these two will end up switching because of the sort by length mock and skills mm -hmm. so and with this one um the first subfolder would be um this will return an array of sde mm -hmm. with string sorry and I'll compare it to the set. The set right now is empty. So um, oh shoot. Good. Um, I can't remove this one yet because otherwise I'll remove the parent right now. So let's see. I think in this case, um, I can start with index one because the first one, it's already sorted. Um, mm -hmm. The first one always sort of be a shorter folder and possibly a parent. And that would um, mitigate something here, but it won't work for the edge case of Mm -hmm. um, if this guy isn't here, um, then I don't want to remove it yet. Oh, wait, sorry, I'm totally confused. I'm using myself. Um, no, um, at SDE, my 
the parent folder set does not have this. So it will come to here and it will be adding to adding the SDE to my set. Okay, you have the SDE to set now. So the set will include um, SDE. Yeah. yeah, and then when I uh, go to index of one, it'll come to SDE mock. And when I split them, it will look something like SDE and mock. Mock, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, if my parent, the, if the set has SDE, then I would remove it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now um, my array would look without that. And this third index uh, will be. Yeah, again, right. you'll have SDE as the first one, and then again, you'll say that's the parent, and you'll only put SDE, right? Yes. Right. So uh, a problem with this approach is this doesn't really take care of parents, you know, that have more than one level of mistake. Yes. Because you're always looking some folders of zero, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the catch there. Mm, that's okay. Uh, that's, that's fine. I, I mean, I understand your approach, and uh, like, uh, you can modify that, right? I mean, you can yeah. Just say, yeah. You can just see the prefix parents and then check that. That should right. be right. Yeah. Right. Like right now, my code doesn't work, but uh, there's more tweaking that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there's there's more work that needs to be done with this for it to work. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Let's let's discuss that and all. Uh, I think it's okay. time to you know wind up. We actually cross fifty minutes. Yes. So now it's time for the feedback and then we'll discuss how to actually solve this problem. What are the different ways to solve this problem? All right. Yes, please. Yep. Sure. Uh, so Martin. So yeah, the, the next page is a uh, question for you, Christine. Um, yes. How, how do you felt, how do you feel you did in this interview? <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> no. Um, so I think, the first part, I did not uh, fully grasp what he was asking first um, before diving into solutions. So that was first part. Um, I second is that um, I wasn't. I think I was hung up on the uh, file structure part, and I always kind of think that oh, this is going to be some regex thing. So I already mentally blocked myself. In, in terms of like how to solve it and thinking that regex, like I, I can't do that. So I need to kind of overcome that myself. And then um, third, um, when it comes to solving edge cases like this, um, yeah, I, I, I need to work on, work on this a lot more. Okay, then uh, the next stage is for Amrit. Could you give some feedback to Christine? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, so, uh, like, I, I'll split that feedback into four parts. So, the first part is about the clarifications, right? Mm -hmm. So, this problem, the catch of this problem is that it has a lot of, uh, you know, edge cases that could be handled, if not the right approach. So, that that requirement clarifications part of this problem is actually a little intensive. I mean, there should have been more questions. Uh, I was expecting more questions like, uh, you know, I, I was expecting you would come up with questions like nested parents. How would I see if there are folders that has, uh, you know, yes. prefix mm -hmm. strings present. So now let's say there is SD slash skills uh, and you have a parent folder slash SD. What if the parent folder was slash SDE, ABC, something? Basically, you know, a parent folder is actually a substring of your child folder. It's not exactly a child folder, but what would you do in such cases? And, uh, yep, that's one thing. So I, I wanted more questions on that side. And firstly, you didn't ask me if, what if there are multiple 
parent right multiple parents i have relationships what would i return so that was one question i would have definitely expected mm-hmm. uh but that's okay uh, from the clarification side uh, i i didn't get the questions really that i was expecting okay but again you were asking questions to you know find what has to work for the given cases so that's good okay yes so from the problem solving perspective uh so you were thinking about uh directly solving the problem so you asked me if i can write code uh mm-hmm. you know initially itself if i can try writing some code and all mm-hmm. so uh i wouldn't recommend directly starting out with some code but i would recommend you to you know come up with your own example and dry runs that will actually lead you to code mm-hmm. okay so in the in the given case what you could have done is you could have maybe tried to you know draw the folder structure that would have given you a little more insight on how this actually looks like mm-hmm. so if you had actually drawn the folder structure you might have thought of something like trees right okay because the unix file structure is in fact a tree right mm-hmm. so uh, so that there is one solution that makes use of a tree but it's not necessarily that not really necessary that you use a tree so yeah so anyways you are trying to you know uh, directly solve the problem uh and and you and the brute force you said basically you can get all the children that that also made sense but again you were not sure about uh you know how to get the child what right. is is the ordering important so i i gave you a hint on the ordering and then that went well that was fine okay right and uh, here again uh i think this was a miss probably maybe you forgot that there could be nested parents right right when you when you actually wrote the code that's i think that's the reason why you took some folders of zero right yeah uh, that's okay uh, i i think you're not uh, you haven't done a lot of problems on strings as such right mm-hmm. that should be fine uh, i mean that that will come along with practice from the coding front again i would say uh, you know there are areas of improvements so if you choose a language it's it's always better if you know to like if you know the nuances of the language and then how to get things done So normally in these kind of problems you wouldn't need regular expressions because the pattern is defined. So all you need to do is a split, and uh, yeah, that's that's the requirement, right? Okay. Yep. So you, you could directly just split it, or you could even ask me to you know uh, change the format of the folders if uh, you found it a little different. Like let's say it, now it starts with forward slashes, right? Right. Maybe you could ask me, hey, can you give me folders without slashes before and after? That would also have made sense. Like you would directly ask me something like SD slash skills. That is also fine. You could directly use a slash split and only get two words. That also is fine. Uh, that's okay. That's again a minor thing. Okay. Uh, and from the testing side, I think you missed it. Uh, missed the case. So that would be you know something to actually think about. Okay. Yeah. So that so it, overall, in my feedback, I would say you should. Uh, you know before writing code or before sticking on to solutions you should really make sure that you solve the problem like at least verbally or uh, verbally you should be able to say hey this thing works this this is the way i'm going to do for this problem even if you can't come up with the code if the logic is convincing that would be good okay. maybe we could we could have made you write a brute force code but you could have actually given us the actual logic right Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now let let's so if we look at the solutions part, I can see three solutions. Mm-hmm. So one is like a tree. I said uh, a try would be more appropriate. What we could do is we could. Uh, are you familiar with tries? Uh, I know of it. Okay, that's okay. Uh, so basically, you can you can actually represent this in that folder structure, and then you could actually get me whatever like uh, get me the first parent or first node. that is actually a directory that is the uh, straightforward uh, nothing to think about kind of solution okay. uh so uh, like the solution that you took right the number of the length solution okay. that also works with a single traversal so now let's say you go to a child folder mm-hmm. you can see if uh, the prefixes are already in the set right so you can just go to the slash or the slash before that and then see that is one solution uh a third solution would be you can actually sort the list lexicographically okay mm-hmm. 
now in that case all you need to do is you just need to check the previous string and the current string right get it, okay. get it. got it yeah so those were the solutions i had in mind so i was trying to you know yeah get to do one of it well that's okay overall you did okay i would say but you can improve in you know all all the aspects thank you uh, but that should be fine with practice it's okay uh, you have some understanding so you can definitely you know just just brush up your skills and that should be fine it wouldn't be a problem one thing i really like is you were continuously communicating you were not like blank at any point you were continuously trying to come up with something and you always were saying this uh, is something we could do so that was nice i i like that part so yep um, that's my feedback thank you yeah, thank you okay um so for the next stage is we actually open for the audience if they have any feedback for either the interviewer or the interviewee I can start um, first for Christine. Um, yeah, I think overall was a good, um, a good interview. I, I I like that at least you did all the stages. You know, even though yeah, there was some correction from Amrit in terms to not jumping into coding. You know that you know in general we we divide this interviews into four stages right like requirements clarification and problem solving and coding and testing right so um you partially did all of them which was good you know and i felt like you you know you kept trying like like i'm saying you kept you kept pushing and i think it's i mean it's easy sometimes kind of like, <laughs> like oh you know i'm just giving up you know i just can't do it but i don't feel your you know it does it didn't feel that way you 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 know you know trying to make an approach or listening to the interviewer because you know in general they do give you hints and they guide you you know so i think that was good um i think a lot, a lot of these issues will come with practice like um i'm was saying i think uh, um yeah I, I would say maybe a few cycles and i think in those four set, you know, aspects that we were just talking about, you will be able to, you know, improve. Um, okay. Yeah, I think uh, that's that's my feedback. For Amber, I think the, the interview was really good. Uh, they had a good, you know, you know, with good structure. I think. Um, yeah, I think it was it was it was helpful when you were giving hints and kind of guiding and even I, I did I, I didn't feel like you were you know maybe frustrated or anything when uh, maybe uh, she was not like you know coming to you the approach you had in mind so I think that's that's a really good thing. He so, made me feel very comfortable even though I was struggling and sweating. <laughs> yeah, no, it it, it, it was really good. It's hard to do, yeah. So, yeah, I think that was that was good. Um, so, yeah. Um, does anybody have else have feedback to for either? Okay. Um, yes. Um, before I I close the recording, does anybody want to say or? Um, yeah, I think I can pause the recording.